Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now we're continuing on with the exclusive subs. Uh, and this band we haven't had on the channel since about January last year. Uh, so they've had a year hiatus from being on the channel, but as soon as they put something back out again, they're back on the channel. And they told me as well in the email, we very much enjoyed being on the show last time. And here's our latest single to check out as well. I love to hear that, guys. Uh, when bands have been on this channel and then as soon as they put some out again, they're back here again wanting to get talked about. Makes me feel good inside. I love it to death. Very, very nice. I was just looking on these guys' pages, which is what we've been doing for these bands this week as well, just to check out. Uh, it seems that they've got their old guitarist back. What's his name? Jared Brown. He's back in the band again. Uh, now, I think these guys are a Christian band. They're called Six Feet to Salvation, uh, and they've put God Bless and things and stuff on some of their posts, which makes me think so they're a Christian band. Now, I'm not religious at all, but it's funny that as someone who isn't religious whatsoever, uh, I've actually listened to Christian metal quite a lot throughout my life. Back in the early 2000s, I was really into Christian hardcore um, because I thought those guys were actually rocking it the hardest. Um, when young Christian guys kind of are fed up with the state of the world because it's not quite how it should be according to the Bible and all the rest of it. They can be very, very passionate people, very angry people, and want to shout it down the mic or rip it through their guitars. And those early 2000s hardcore Christian bands, I'm telling you, they were the best of the best. Uh, there was some kind of vegan bands and stuff going about then as well. All those bands uh, where, they've, where they've really got a passion behind them, there's, there's so much spur in the band on whether it be religion uh, or just but whatever your world view is and it's you're annoyed that it's not turning out like that because the world's a bit of a mess um I really, really dig it. I love the passion. Uh, it doesn't matter that I don't necessarily agree with what's being said in the lyrics and things like that. That doesn't particularly bother me. What I'm more interested in is that you've put a passion and an energy and it's coming from your soul behind it. Uh, and I really, really dig that. And you do seem to get that more so out of bands, not necessarily just religious bands, but particularly from religious bands, because they've got that fire in their belly about it. Uh, the world certainly isn't how it should, be. you know, the Christians think it should be, and that riles them up. Uh, and they do often make some very cool music as a result of it. So I just wanted to mention that. The track we're going to check out today is called Dogma. Uh, they've got a video for it as well. It's on the screen. Let's give it a spin. You need to make a pay of a thousand dollars. Oh, Bob, couldn't you say 25? No! no. That looks like we can turn this one up a little bit. It's got a bit of headroom there. things on this which I'd like to improve. I can't quite hear those cymbals very loud which I'd like to hear more of. You can see it whacking away on them. 
And I think there's a bit of a phase issue between the guitars cancelling each other out a bit. So they don't seem to have the power that they should do. I love when bands give a space to the basses to do a little run, do a little riff. You still don't hear it quite as often as you should, and I do love it when it happens. Cool, there you go. Yeah, now I enjoyed this track, but I do think there were some mixing issues on this one, unfortunately. Let me see if it was, uh, doesn't say on here whether it was mixed by themselves or whether they paid someone to do it. But there were a couple of things that could have made this mix more powerful, more chunky, uh, and just give it that kind of solid sound that you kind of want from this music. First of all, I would have definitely cranked up the cymbals because uh, we really couldn't hear the cymbals at all and we could see him crashing away on the big crashes and everything. And what that le meant is it left a big space in the high end where the cymbals normally are, um, which fills out the mix, gives it a bigger sound. So I would have definitely cranked up the cymbals a bit more in this one. And I do feel that there was some phasing issues with the guitars. And if you don't, want, don't, know, don't know what that means, um, when you're using two guitars, and I've obviously got two guitarists in the band, and I'm going to guess they don't use the same guitar and amp and setup. When you've got two different setups and two different guitarists, when you record them both, they don't necessarily always gel together as well as they can. And you might need to do some phasing or, or uh, slightly uh, adjust the timing on them so that they are in phase. I've actually got a very nice problem, uh, problem program called Auto Align. And that automatically does it for me. I just press a button and it lines up the guitars so that they're in phase. And as soon as that happens, you really notice a big difference in the sound. And it's it's something I've learned uh, for to, to do with my own mixes uh, that really makes a big difference. Because when the when the guitars are out of phase, if you imagine the, the wave lines, they kind of clash with each other and cancel each other out. And it just means that it takes the guts out of your guitar because it doesn't sound like it's kind of all there and that's because of the two layers of guitar are cancelling each other out at certain areas of the wave when they're in phase together those two waves lock in together and they're both in phase and as soon as that happens they just sound so much more chunky, sound like they're in tune with each other and in line with each other. And it makes a big, big difference. And I think that's one issue that happened on this one, uh, that the guitars were cancelling each other out with the different distortions and the different guitar setups. And that meant that it lost its power within the guitar. It's unfortunate. Um, but... It's a learning process with the music to do, uh, and hopefully their next track, they'll keep an eye on that, crank up the cymbals a little bit more for us, because I think that would have filled out the sound nicely. The cymbals are the only thing in the mix that fills out that very high-end frequencies. The guitars don't, the drums don't, the vocalists won't, and obviously the bass won't either. Uh, so that when you haven't got a big, nice, washy cymbal sound, there's a space in your mix, really. It's kind of a frequency that isn't being filled, and when you do fill it, it just sounds even louder and heavier and wider and chunkier and all the great things that you want for this kind of music. So I'd say that and hopefully they can get their guitars in phase as well. And I think it would have made a big difference to the track. Overall, I enjoyed the track. <clears throat> These guys were a mixture of grunginess and heavy metal, which is a cool mix to have together. And I think they bring the grunginess through nicely and then just crank it up a bit with the distortion and stuff to give it a metal vibe as well, some riffiness and whatnot. So there you go. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, submissions out of these guys this year uh, and maybe we'll see if they 
taken my advice and cranked up the symbols and things like that because that would be cool but that's what we got for you today uh what day is it today's friday already i think it is so there you go that's another week down the pan um uh, i think i'm going to do some more over the weekend though because i have still got more priority subs that i want to get through i don't like keeping those people waiting for too long when they've dipped in their pocket so we'll do that as well uh so we'll probably see you tomorrow have a good one guys cheers bye